Hello there everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we're on episode number 67 and as always I'm Shane. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can go to Google Plus and find me there. Also go to codekarate.com and click on this link here to see the other Daily Dose of Drupal videos if you haven't watched them already. And if the contest is still active when you watch this video you can sign up to or for a chance to win a free Drupal book. Also sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already but let's go ahead and get started. We're going over the views slideshow module today and this is the slideshow that I use probably 95 percent of the time that I need any type of slideshow on any Drupal site I build. It just works well it's easy relatively easy to configure and you can have it not only just slide between different images but you can have various types of content within it slide between different nodes so we'll go ahead and get started with showing how we can use this if you haven't used it before I would highly recommend trying this one before trying any of the other slideshows out there just because in my experience it's been the easiest to use there are other ones that have maybe a few more features but sometimes it can be a headache to get set up and they require other types of jQuery libraries and things like that. So I'm going to head over to the modules page. I have downloaded this module but I do not have it installed yet. So as you can see I already have views installed which you'll need. So views and views UI are installed. When you download views slideshow it's going to have views slideshow and views slideshow cycle. So we're going to go ahead and just go with Views Slideshow for now. And we'll come back to the other one here in a little bit. So we'll go ahead and save that. And we're now going to create a quick content type. And we're going to call this just slideshow, just to keep it simple. Keep everything else the same. And we're going to manage the fields here. We're going to add an image field. And we'll leave that as public files. Go ahead and save it. And we'll go ahead and we can we could change this if we needed to change any of these settings but I'm going to leave them at the default just to keep it simple and slide this up here and we're now going to add just a few pieces of content so we're going to go ahead and add some slideshow images Grab a couple images here. Save that. We'll also go ahead and add another one. Save that one as well. Okay. So if we come back to the home page. You can see that these two are showing up here, but we're going to create us just a view slideshow block that's going to sit on the top here in this section. So let's go ahead and start by creating a view. We're going to add a new view. We're going to just go ahead and leave content of type slideshow. We'll call this slideshow for now and we could create a page we don't want to do that we're going to create a block it's going to be the format is going to be slideshow and we'll go ahead and say fields we'll go ahead and continue and edit from there so you can see it changed the format here to slideshow so you normally would have this be a, a grid or a table it, this added a new format the view slideshow module it did so you can select that 
and you can change the settings here. You can add a specific row class, you can set list type, different styles, and just change the way that it is displayed here. I'll go ahead and just apply that. Now we get to select our fields. We're going to select our slideshow image field. And the formatter is we can leave it as image. Let's use a medium style image and it can link to we'll say the content. We don't want a label in this case. Let's go ahead and apply that. Now we can go ahead and save this. It's not going to be much to show yet, but we'll go ahead and open up the blocks page. And I'm going to go down and find this block here. You can see it's view slideshow. I'm going to drag it up to the featured section. And I'll save this. If I come to the home page, it says no main frame module is enabled for the view slideshow. Okay. So that of course means we need to come back to the modules page and enable oops, I can go ahead and search for this. Make it a little easier. We need to enable the module that's actually going to display it, which is this views slideshow cycle. So let's save this. You also need to enable the libraries module, okay. So you need to make sure you have that installed as well. Make sure if you have any troubles with installing this, you can come to the View Slideshow page on Drupal.org and you can read the, the, the various documentation on how to get this thing installed and working. Okay, so now that we have this installed, we can see it's been installed. It's, so we go back to our view. I'm going to just refresh this to make sure everything is up to date. Let's make sure that, as you can see now, I refreshed the block and it shows at least one image and it flips between the two images. You'll notice that the text actually changes with the image. So it's working, but it's still not nearly what we want it to be. So now that we have that uh, rotator module, or the, the cycle module, I guess, turned on as well, we can come back into the settings, and you can notice that there's some additional cycle options here. You can select the different effect. You can select if you want it to pause on hover, so it just gives you a few different options as far as how you want that to work. And I also thought there was um, yeah, there's some additional options if you look at some of these advanced options here as well. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot of configuration you can look at but the main goal is just to get it up and working. So let's go ahead and change this image style to large. I'm going to apply that. That'll make it look a little bit better there. I'm also going to add the body field. And I'll not need a label for this and I'm going to rearrange this a little bit. So as you can see down here in the example, I have the title and the text. What you can then do with this is let's say that you, for instance, wanted to pull this text to the side or you wanted to pull this text up. An example of this would be uh, my company's website here. This is a view slideshow. As you can see, this is text sitting over here on the right where this is an image. It's all created with views. 
but it switches as the slides filter through. So we'll go ahead and we're going to do something that's really simple here. You're going to have to know a little bit of CSS for this. I'm not going to go through how to actually apply the CSS, but if you have a theme and you are competent with CSS, you should be able to figure this piece out. But views actually can allow you to rewrite the output of certain fields. So let's say, for instance, you want to have a, a div structure that wraps this title and this body so you can float it to the right. Well, there's a couple different ways you can do that. You can go into here, into the body, and just click Rewrite Results. Click you want to rewrite the output of this field. Then, in the replacement patterns, you'll see you can use the title and the body. So what we could do here so we could do div class equals slideshow text wrapper or whatever you wanted your class to be. You could put the title field and then the body field. And then that would allow you to add some CSS to float this on the right side of the image or pull it up so it's overlaying on top of the image, whatever you wanted to do. Let's go ahead and Save that. Then we'll come back into this title and we'll click exclude this from display so it doesn't show up twice. You can also add a blank field in there and do the same thing, but I just added, I just rewrote the output of just this body field. If we come back here, things should be looking a little bit different. You can notice that it should flip here in a second, as it does. And you can change this, the format of this image. You just have to come in and change the image style. But I'm not going to go over that. I've went over that in previous posts. But you can change this to be formatted to a specific image size so you don't have to upload consistent sized images. So that's kind of nice. Just go into your image styles and you can create a new style and use that in the view or you can edit one of the existing styles. In this case we're using the large image style. Important thing to take a note of though is if we hover over this, you'll see we have our slideshow text wrapper here that's wrapping this content. So you can see that we could then float this to the right and we could also, well, we might actually have to do a couple other things, but we'd actually have to float this piece, I guess, to the right and float this left and it would probably work. Well it's starting to move but you can get the idea that you could overlay this on top. Yeah, But you get the idea if you add some CSS you can move this text around and as you can see every time it flips it resets that because it goes to the next slide but you can pull this up so you could overlay it on top, you could set it over here, you can change that markup structure and you may need to in here just go ahead and add a if you go in under global you can add a custom text and you can build out some HTML markup that way as well so you may actually have to wrap the slideshow image in one div and then wrap this title and body in another div, it really depends on how you want to do it but that can get you started. As you can see, it's really easy to get the basics of a slideshow going. This doesn't look pretty by any means, but it is working, and you can then take that and add some styles to it and make a great looking slideshow. As you can see, the links work, brings you right to the post, so it just makes it nice and easy. That's all for this time on the Daily Dose of Drupal. Went a little long, but hopefully it will help you if you need to build out a slideshow. Let's go ahead and follow me on Twitter and I'll be back again next time. Thanks for watching.